Hey guys, good evening. Welcome back to our channel. Hey, 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 everyone. Please excuse my voice. I've got a very nasty flu. It's affecting my voice. The cutter is blocking my nose, but I'm fine. I didn't want to put this off again today because I was supposed to do it yesterday, but that yesterday I just couldn't. Imagine me coming back from the glorious sunshine <clears throat> of Texas only to come and this cold. See why I'm on about the weather in the UK. Welcome, everybody. Good evening, everybody. Fam. I hope you are well. Please give us a thumbs up as you are joining. Like the video and subscribe. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. So I'm just going to be really quick tonight because as you can tell, <clears throat> I'm not 100% myself, uh, but I wanted to share this video uh, just for us to talk again about some of these issues that unfortunately are on life in people. Usually it's a lot of times you see women in this group, but it does happen to men as well. And some people might think that I don't share it when it happens to men, but that's not true. I do. Okay, so the frequency of which I share it is very sometimes even with women I don't share all the time because it's a bit too much so I try to stagger it so that we will not be you know emotionally drained because these stories are hard mm -hmm. so uh it's quite a very sad one the guy you are looking at on the screen welcome everybody please give us a thumbs up as you are joining at always hello welcome welcome Apologies about my voice, so Emma Binu, I have a cold, so it's really affecting my my voice. Please give us a thumbs up. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Uh, so this is a Nigerian young man, only 26 years old. His name is Mike Chidozie. He's a bodybuilder and athlete in the U.S. Actually, he lives in the state of Texas, Houston where I just came from. You can imagine my shock. This is where I just came from. Oh my God. I mean, this is so, so sad. Very extremely. I mean, I kept thinking when I was reading the story that somebody, I don't know if he was born in the US or he's, uh, he migrated from Nigeria or maybe his parents are migrated. I don't really know much about his background. <clears throat> Please, if you know, more uh feel free to jump in the studio and share with us but whatever the circumstances is or where uh yeah big pay i was just saying i've got flu i came back from your hot america to come and catch flu catch cold in the uk you know uk with their cold weather it's, it's been raining and it's cold still we're in april ending it's still cold osumi or no at the reason to move america by Houston precisely. <laughs> yeah, but, but I'm all right. It's just uh, the kata. Yeah. So whatever it was, whether he went or his experience that when he was born there, it's still very, very tragic because the reason why we as immigrants leave our continent is because we want better opportunity, we want a better life for ourselves and our children. And as I always say on this platform, nobody deserves, nobody deserves to be pied. No, not man, not a woman, not a dog. Nobody. Everybody deserves to live their life in peace and harmony. And when it comes to marriage, if it becomes too wahala, the wahala of the marriage is becoming too much. And it's gotten to a point where it's becoming too you know, toxic, <clears throat> then people should please reconsider whether they should stay in the same roof, under the same roof, under the same environment. Eh? Honestly. So this is 26 years old Michael Chidoze. Uh, and the backstory is that he's married to this woman beside him. And uh March 20, 22nd, it will happen in March. I wonder why we're just hearing about it now. 
I thought it's something that happened recently. Her name is Kiara Shavoye. I've never heard that name before. It sounds like it's, a, it's an African name from a different uh, African country. Uh, if I'm if I'm right, Kiara Shavoye. That's her name. So they are Mr. and Mrs. Yeah, marriage. So they said that Michael had said that they'd gotten into an argument with his wife and they began and they escalated very quickly. So in the usual way that some people have all these uh, things in their house, the G, the, the iron, they have iron in their house. We call it iron here. They had, they had iron in their house and what this woman did was to go into the other room, got the iron and just on life's Michael. They say he was rushed to Ben Ben Chuab Hospital after the police found him with the wounds. And of course, she she now when you know say uh, when person don't do this kind of thing. Now that time I go come clear. She was now panicking. They have two kids, age three and two, so you can tell that is a young family. Only three and two years old. They have two kids. So she was not panicking. They called the ambulance. They took Michael to the hospital. I think they put him on life support. Uh, but they said that he suffered from a spinal injury, devastating spinal injury. And after 18 days, okay. So it happened, okay, now I know why we're just hearing it. The incident happened 21st of March, but we're just hearing it because it was after 18 days on life support that you know he, he, he deleted they say that kiara i've never seen this spelling of kiara before k-e-a-i double i double r y kiara 28 years old she's 28 he is 26 she's 28 so two years age gap she's older she's been she was arrested and released on bail and court is set for may 23rd I thought that was quite, uh, <clears throat> when I heard that he's been released, I'm like, ah, uh ah. -uh. Do they release people like that when you, when they've arrested you that you've unlike somebody in America? I've never heard of that before. I don't know why. Is it because she's a woman? I don't know. Anyway, uh, Michael was a bodybuilder. I'm going to show you, uh, let me show you his page. He actually has an Instagram page uh, that I will show you. It's quite, it's quite sad. It's really, really sad, my people. This thing called marriage. So, eh, Jotori alone. If you not do a kid, if you not walk a kid, he's the one that will go on life each other or on life somebody picking, make everybody find a way to real alone. It is better to be alive. And stay far away. The last show we did, one of these our brothers that followed us put a, a, a comment there. I had to pin it because I thought it made a lot of sense. I mean, the page has been deleted. I'm trying to open it. It's not opening again. Hey, whoa. I hope the page has not... The page is not, it's not opening again, no. Oh... Yeah, my people, I wanted to show you his page. I actually uh, sent it to myself because he's a bodybuilder and he has a lot of, he has a lot of, uh, he has a lot of, uh, what's it called? Pictures when he was training in his gym and everything. I think he contests in, uh, what's it called? He contests in uh, bodybuilding activities. What they, he's an athlete who does weightlifting. Is it weightlifting they call it or bodybuilding? I'm not sure. Yeah, bodybuilding. That's what he does. And from his page, let me see if I can open it. You will see that he's completely, completely uh, committed to it. Because even the members of the gym where he trains uh, were the release statements about his nature. I'm going to try and see if I can open the page. I'm trying to find it. But I don't know. Maybe the page has been deactivated or something. I don't know why I can't open it. 
Anyway, so this is the story, my people. Only 26 years old. Yeah, they say spinal injury. That's what they said. Yeah. So all this kind of anger that people will have that will make them that an argument will quickly uh, escalate that you the next thing you want to do because uh, uh, sometimes uh, people you know you can have some bitterness in your heart subconsciously against somebody your partner but yeah maybe things have been happening you've been having uh disagreements whatever that's why you know we're having this conversation the other day and i was telling to i was saying it i say i don't understand why nigerians are having iron okay the page is still there thank god let me share it guys i don't understand why people are having iron in their house i think it's brabio we're having this conversation the other day i said please don't i know you all are americanized now but i don't think it's the right for me because sometimes Hey, hello, DJ Keshu lawyer. When you, when you have th things like that, uh, people, if you make this argument, some of you in America will be saying, hey, hey, even if you don't have iron in your house, what about other things? They will start bringing other arguments into it hey, hey, in the UK. Hey, we don't have iron. We are not allowed to carry iron in the UK, but people still use other things, which is true. But I think prevention is still better than cure. Look at this young man now, only 26 years old. Eh? Okay, this, so this is his page. Can you guys see it? Yeah, okay, that's his page. Michael Chidos is a sports person, natural bodybuilder. Heavy in the, is, is the hand that wears the crown. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. That's his page. Look at. You know what it takes to build your body to this level? Can you see that? It's a lot of commitment. It's a lot of determination, discipline. Like you literally need to work out so much. I mean, regular people try to go to the gym to even get even three packs of one. You know the number of years you have to work out for you to, to be able to achieve this kind of body goals. See? His page is littered with, you know, him in the gym, working out because... I want to believe that he does this for a living. So obviously he's going to spend a lot of time training, you know, working out, doing all sorts of things, lifting weights, weightlifting. Yeah. It's not easy. Look at that weight he's carrying. Can you see that? And what I know about all these people that carry weights and do all, uh, other things to build their body is that they always you know, concentrate on different parts of the body. You can see it has a small waist. Yeah. He has a small waist, but a very, very big top. That's his page. He's littered with, you know, videos of him walking out in the gym. Yeah. This is somebody's child. This is somebody's father. Those two children are going to grow up without their dad in their life. This is somebody's brother. This is somebody's uncle. All for what? So this senseless, senseless loss of life, all because people cannot manage anger. They cannot manage, you know, problems in a relationship. It needs to stop. It has to. It has to. It just has to stop. It happened in Houston. Yes, in Houston, where I just came from. So we talk a lot on this platform about, you know, managing conflict, how we need to learn more about how you can walk out of a, 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 a walk, walk away from a situation where, especially when it's getting too heated up. And another thing that I know is that before somebody can get to this point of unliving somebody, there's been some level of divi in that relationship. And you know, we know that it's not very, very common, but sometimes women are perpetrators as well. They are. They can be perpetrators of DV as well. 
So, my people, look at this young man. At the prime of his life, I'm sure he has a lot of goals. He has a lot of dreams, aspiration. You can tell he has a lot of discipline, going to the gym, working out, building his brand and everything. All cut short. Everything just like that. Because people cannot manage conflict. They cannot manage their emotions and anger. They will allow anger to, you know, to overtake to overtake them when they're arguing and they will just end somebody's life and cut somebody just like that without thinking about the consequences. Without thinking about it. She didn't even think about the children. I bet you the children were present when this happened. So you can imagine the trauma that those children have been thrown into for the rest of their life now. Three-year-old, two-year-old. The story is going to be, of course, we are talking about it now. I'm in the UK. It's all over the newspapers in America, across the world, in Nigeria. They will grow up to read that their mother on life their, their father because of arguments. Eh? So all this on life is so it's getting out of hand though. Alone. It's just getting out of hand. It's such a senseless waste. A senseless waste of loss of human life, my people. It's never okay. It is never okay. It is never okay. It is never okay. So the last show we did, and uh, we were talking about uh, AY and uh, his wife, Mabel, that their marriage ended. Somebody put a comment there, and what the person said there, I read it over and over again. Let me read it out to you. And it's a man that put the comment. He usually joins our show once in a while. Welcome, everybody. Please give us a thumbs up. So Jonathan said, if you are brave enough to say goodbye to an unhappy marriage, life will reward you with peace of mind. It's like words that they should put on a bubble. People should be reading them. If you are brave enough to walk away from an unhealthy and unhappy marriage, life will reward you with peace of mind. That's what that guy said. But most people are not brave enough. Because we think about what would people say? Let me try. He's the mother of my children. He's the father of my children. He's this. He's that. My family. They will reconcile. Two people, they are obviously not good together. Look at this young girl now. She's only 28 too. They are both young people. Her I don't clear now. She's likely going to have life. And you know in America when they say life, life is life. Life means life. Two young children, all for what? Eh? The earlier we start to take that this thing called marriage, so, eh? That we don't need to buy ourselves because of it. We don't need to own life because of it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, instead of me to, to buy, I'd rather stay alive. Just look at her. Like I said, sometimes it's not even because, you know, you plan to do it, but I guarantee you that there's been issues of DV in the marriage. There's no way a woman will just wake up one day and go and carry an uh, iron and go and unlife her husband if she's not been, you know, if they've not been experiencing DV in the marriage and she has not always been, you know, violent towards him. Yes, four times. She she didn't go once, so she really wanted to to unlife him. Cynthia, she went four times. That one, two, three, four to make sure that he will not survive. For what? I I, I think the you no know, as life is getting more, you know, there is more pressured. There's more pressure in everyday life. Uh, there's more pressure in everyday life. People are struggling. There are financial struggles. There is no excuse to buy anybody. But I just think that as life is getting more, you know, people are facing all sorts of challenges in life. Relationships and marriages are getting more, 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 more intense. Just getting too intense. Please step back. Take a step back. Take a step back. Somebody will still be listening to this story now that we are sharing today now. They will know that they are in a situation that is unsafe. 
they will know that their life is literally hanging by the thread because anybody that can put their hands on you, whether it's a man or a woman, they can actually unlife you as well. And we usually say that it's not the day that they plan to do it. Any small thing, you say, ah, today, you are angry because what did they say about anger? There's a level of anger that they call temporary insanity. I hear that even in court, sometimes you can, it's admissible in court. That's the level. You know what insanity is? You are not in touch with your, with your brain anymore. Your brain don't shift because of anger. And that is why it is okay to take a step back. Even if you don't want to divorce, remove yourself from a, a, a situation that is likely to end, end your life. Please, my people. It can happen to anybody. Look at this young man. What? Okay, what are you going to tell his parents now? 26 years old. All the way in the United States of America, Houston, Texas. That's his page. This is his page. Let me show you. You see? This is his, this is his uh, what do you call it? You can see the progress that he's been making. So you see the one he was wearing the green shorts on the left. It wasn't as big as this one. So consistency. He's been very consistent. Yeah, for life, as I say, some people are not even married at 20 at 26. Yes. Especially boys. In this day and age, where do you see 26 year old getting married? So that is an indication that maybe, you know, they got pregnant and they decided to get married. They ma he married very early. They already have two children at 26. So when did they marry at 22, 24? And the children are only three and two years old. Yeah. Please don't go and carry iron. Don't end somebody's life. Remove yourself from any any anything that is that you know is likely is likely to buy you. It is not worth it. It is not worth it. When there is argument every day, there is no peace every day. Is basketball fighting every day? I mean, my heart really goes out to the family of this young man. He's of Nigerian descent. I don't know whether he was one that migrated to America or is his parents, but it doesn't matter. He's a child of, he's, he's somebody's child. This is just unacceptable on all levels. It is not acceptable when a man does it. It is not definitely not acceptable when a woman does it. We did a story, a similar story the other day. I think that guy too is called Michael. Who can remember? The one that, uh, and is also from Nigerian background, also an Igbo boy, that the Oibo girl on life. Can you guys remember his name? It's the same thing. The Oibo girl that was doing uh, only, only fans, only fans. There is no excuse. If you cannot take it anymore as a woman, you feel like, oh, a man is not available emotionally or you are not happy, then please leave. Uh -huh. Thank you. Just walk away. It's not bad. They didn't tie you down there. Nobody sold you down there. Christian. Okay, that one is called Christian. Thank you. Only fan, only fan model. That's why it buy that boy till today. And if not because of the outcry on social media, even though that one, you know, a lot of people were saying that the things he was saying about black women and all that, but still, nobody deserved that. It should that it, whether he's it was not whether he was a uh, uh, what would I call it? Is it self hate? Because you cannot uh, you cannot be racist to your own to your own race. But there's some self hate there. They said that he was saying some things about black women. He was always shading black women. I saying that he he will never date a black woman. He was dating Oyibo, and he was dating Oyibo model, and is the only life, only waiting, waiting, waiting call, only fans on live team. We cover the story here. Sure, he she almost walked away. In fact, they didn't. This they did not arrest her. They arrested her and let her go. She was walking around, going to restaurants and everything. I don't even know. Do you guys have an update on that case? Has she has she been sentenced now? 
So there is no way that somebody will carry iron, aim at somebody four different times, and you tell me that you are afraid of your life. It's because it's self-defense. No. It's never self-defense. She wanted to end him. Okay. The parents were arrested too. Yeah, okay. I hope she gets sentenced. Because I don't believe that if a woman does it, they should get a lesser sentence. That's why I don't understand why they always allow the women to run. They, 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 they allow them to, like, if it was uh, the man that did this on this occasion, do you think that they would have released him on bail? So I'm wondering, why is she on bail? Because they say she's on bail. They set a court date, but they say she's on bail. I'm wondering why. Why? I don't know. So, I mean, we don't know the backstory. We never know with some of these, or, or, or most of this story. We never know the backstory, what happened. What, you, usually, what did they happen? Two people arguing. You did this. Resentment. You did this. That's how you did it six months ago. You don't help me with this. You are not at home. There is no money. We are uh, struggling to pay rent. We are doing this. The, the things that cause problems in marriage is either financial or emotional. It's those two. Once you remove those two things, mostly financial and then emotional needs, emotional support issues, cheating, somebody is cheating, somebody stepped out, somebody is not picking up their responsibility, whatever it, whatever it is, there is no justification for buying somebody, my people. Because at the end of the day, you are a human being with your own mind intact, your intellect intact. It's a choice to marry, and you can also make the choice that, okay, this relationship is not serving me. If we, as black people, learn to walk away, if we learn to walk away, then we'll have less of this story. Hey, Sholang, thank you very much. Yeah, I have flu. Yeah, but I'm fine. Thank you. That's why I couldn't do it yesterday. I wanted to do it yesterday. Somebody came on my DM. I was yabbing. I was telling me that, eh, hey, you are not fair. You are not fair. Okay, talk about this. Like, I never talk about men. You know those haters that always follow you? Anybody that is a hater that's light into my DM, you go chop block. I blocked, the, I blocked him immediately. Faceless trolls. Don't come to my DM if you are my hater. It is not right. I'm a mother of sons. I have boys. God forbid. Why would I support a woman that does something like this? I don't support evil. I don't support wickedness. I, I'm all for fairness, equality, and treating each other with love and respect. I won't worry. I'll be I won't worry. Who's up? <laughs> you don't let to type. You don't let to type Yoruba. I love that. <laughs> Our sons, God forbid that we support evil women. We, mothers, please be praying. Oh, pray for your children. Pray for your sons, future wives. We we're having a conversation when I was in Houston the other day, and my friend was saying the choice of who you marry, eh, it can either make or break you in life. Mothers, please start praying now. Pray for your daughters, future spouses. Starting from how they will choose, also pray for your son. They will not marry women that will end their life like this. Uh, Kiara, our children, our sons will not marry. They will not marry women like Kiara that will end their life. Allah only je. Women like this, we pray, we pray them away from our son's life. Because some women are so broken. They are broken. And when you are broken, you come without brokenness into a marriage. You have your own demons that you are fighting. I was listening to an elderly lady talking today. Uh, I don't know. I shared the video in the group. And she was saying something about how some people are fighting in a marriage, in a relationship. They are constantly fighting. It's not you they are fighting. It's their father. Their father that they didn't stay to raise them. Their father that didn't stay. 
when they were growing up. So, brothers, if you see a woman like that, that is constantly fighting, that you can see that they are broken, you are not a therapist, please. Run away from them. Don't date people that are broken. Do not marry people that are broken. It takes a healthy person to have a healthy marriage. If you're not healthy mentally, and I'm not talking about physical health too, I'm talking about mental and emotional health, especially emotional health. Yeah. A lot of people are scarred emotionally. And that's why uh, you will see people and they will behave in a certain way. You'll be wondering, ah, 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 are you okay? Is the way they, it, it, it shows up, it plays out in little things. The way they react to people, their responses, how they are quick to fail up, anger. Anger. And this morning they're angry. They're always angry. Please, people like that, be wary of them. Bro. See, don't think you can fix anybody. You, hey, Joe, please. Do not think that you can fix anybody. It is not your job to fix your partner. You are not a therapist. Even if you are a therapist, you cannot be a therapist to your partner. So it starts from when you notice. That's why dating is a, is 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 a, is very important. When when you are in that dating space, and you are seeing each other, these are the things that you are watching out for. Unfortunately, like we always say on this platform, our brothers sometimes are not focused on the things they should be focusing on. They are focused on body parts. They are focused on somebody giving them kerewa, unlimited kerewa. Instead of you to be checking out the character, their temperament, temperament. Instead of you to be checking their values, are your values aligning? There are some people that you should not even live under the same roof with. No matter how, what they give you, no matter what they entice you with, because you know that these people are not good for them. They are not even good for themselves. Talk of being good for you. You know. And this goes for both men and women. Men don't really have those uh, it, uh, it, There's something that women have that is called intuition. Guys, please give us a thumbs up. You can see how I'm really struggling. I, didn't, I really wanted to cover this story despite the fact that I'm not feeling uh, 100% well. Please give us a thumbs up if you haven't. So women have intuition. If you listen to your instincts, your intuitions, there's something we may have that's called intuitions. I don't know if men have it or if it's as, you know, as accurate as women's one, but brothers, please try to observe. Don't go for baddies, buy all these baddies, baddies, kilonje baddy, baddies, baddies, okay? The, the baddie is not a wife. A body is not a wife, oh, if they are not wife material. Yeah, don't try to rationalize it, Big Bay saying. Don't, don't try to explain it, oh, uh, uh, you know, it's because they have daddy issues. It's not your problem if they have daddy issues. You are not their daddy. If they have daddy issues, please go to somebody that is healthy like you. If you are a healthy person, you must go to somebody that is healthy. You are not to fix people. You are not to fix people, my people. Guys, let's let's be very, very careful. And this idea of having uh, uh, iron in your house, me, I will say personally, I still believe it's a bad idea. Honestly, I believe it's a bad idea because if they didn't have iron at home, then Kiara would not have just ended this uh, 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 she does his life like that now. Look at the mess. Two young children, age two and one, left without parents. How do you explain it to a three year old daddy? Daddy, daddy is gone forever because mommy is the one that by daddy. She's likely gonna go to prison, definitely. She will go to prison. Then what happens to the children? Imagine growing up knowing that your 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 mother was the one that unlifed your father, and now your your mother is doing twenty five years in prison as a result. They will become teenagers. Just just imagine. 
uh, what amount are you going to spend on therapy to be able to fix those kids? The only prayer I pray for them is that they are they father the Lord should just wipe that memory away from their heart as they are young so that they, they don't remember it. That is the only thing that we can pray for those kids, those poor innocent kids. So it's always sad for all involved. It's sad. Everyone involved, it is sad. Let us flee from all appearance, appearances of DV. Irrespective of who the perpetrator is, whether it's a man or a woman, it is not acceptable. Eh? Don't bring it to the house. I don't think people should bring uh, iron into the house. If you have a wife, brothers, especially those of you that live in America, if you have a wife that have gone to buy iron to put inside house, then I will question that very seriously. Are you hunting? What are you doing with? In Africa, do we have iron in our house? Do we, do we put iron in our house? And there's nowhere that you have a, 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 that have security issues like Africa. Me, I, know, I don't agree with that too, Ejo. Eh, that's just my personal stance. Yes. That's that's a red flag. A partner that goes out to go and buy iron is a red flag. If you are a man, you don't have, and your partner or your wife goes out to go and buy iron, that is a red flag. <laughs> if they don't say anything to use it on, they will use it to buy you. They will use it to buy you. <laughs> A job is the it's not the, the prayer of every parent is for them to live old and gray and into their twilight years, and their children will be the ones that will bury them. But look at this now. Look at a young man, 26 years old. What how are you going to explain it to the parents? Yeah, Americans are you know how they are, Timothy, with their their iron. They don't play with it. Even the Nigerian Americans now, all of, some of them have in their house. They say they, they have it. I mean, I don't support it. So it's, I mean, like we always say here, DV ruins lives. And now, again, sadly, he's ruined the life of a young man who has his whole future ahead of him. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the picture. I agree with you. Lucas, her face doesn't have any emotion. Her face, like her face, had, she has these dead eyes. Can you see her eyes? I can't, I can't read anything from her eyes. Her, her eyes has no emotion. She looks like somebody that is zoned out, like someone that has mental, mental issues. If she's saying self-defense, she'll probably go and She'll probably go and claim that uh, it's mental health. Emotionless, yes. That's it. That's what I'm looking. Emotionless. So it's sad for all parties involved, both for the poor uh, guy, uh, Michael Chidoze, that's been on life, the children, the, her parents, everyone involved. How can we learn to resolve conflict? What do what what are the practical steps that people need to take when they know that like this thing is not working for me? I'm not safe. I don't have peace to get out. If you want to call into the show, please quickly join in. Uh, you can see the way I'm sounding. I'm not feeling a hundred percent today. So if you have any opinion or suggestion you want to give, because trust me, we are not just doing this show because of the people that you know the the people that we are showing on the screen now is for somebody else that is listening that is in a similar situation when somebody has been threatening me he's been saying it i won't life you i won't life you some people don't take it serious uh -huh. Timothy say I was on TikTok live and had some of those ladies talking. I was shocked at the way they were bragging to buy any man who steps on them. And most of them agreed. Yeah, it's a culture. It's a culture. It's actually a culture. People actually believe that it is right. Eh? 
Four good times. They say it's four times, not once, not twice. Four good times. But the fan, please give us a thumbs up. I, I literally have 10 minutes more to stay because I cannot, uh, I can't stay long because I'm I'm not too well today. So therapy, somebody is saying therapy. If you have something to say, how can we save people? Both our brothers and our sisters. How can we, what can we do? To encourage people to walk away from things like this so that it doesn't get to this point because we are talking about prevention and prevention is usually better than cure of which when somebody has been alive there's no cure mr e say get some therapy please well yeah that's a really good idea but it, you will be shocked that it's not everybody that is open to therapy eh Osas is saying that, look at this lady. She has mental health problems. You know, another thing is that some, some women, especially this young, you know, she's a very young parent. I don't know how young she was when she had the babies. Okay, so she's 28 years old. So the babies are three and two. So she had a baby when she was 26. She's not too young, right? But some people do have, uh, they have postpartum, postpartum. And from postpartum, it can, it can you know, it can just go downhill from there. It can go downhill from there. Mental health is real. I'm not saying she does have mental health. She might just be a very wicked person. You never know. The blissful place say, get therapy, stop shaming mental health so people can openly seek for help. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, Ngazi, how are you, darling? She said, we need to reduce the stigma around divorce. Absolutely. 100%. Mm. Too many stigma. There's a lot of stigma around divorces. Yeah. a lot of divorce people will tell you that you know what will people say even in the abroad is a real thing isha said talk to people therapy talk to people yes absolutely and cg said some people can also hide under the guise of mental health to perpetuate evil absolutely Uh, Tabiti said, and see me, they believe in the iron tin. It's almost like it's a correction, uh, correctional instrument. Now, their culture, of course, it's their culture. Yeah. They stigmatize. When you leave, they stigmatize you. When you stay and buy, they'll say, oh, why didn't you leave? Why didn't you leave? So you can see that, you know, it's difficult. It's really difficult, but at the end of the day, the day you learn to say, you know what, this is about me. If people cut about anybody, lonely friend wants up, let them say what they want to say. After all, I'm mouth, and anybody will get mouth not to talk. So you go talk. When you talk, finish. If they talk, you don't say attention. The people, people's attention these days is very, very short. If they talk high as one month, they will find something as well they will talk about. Definitely, guys, please give us a thumbs up. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Give us a thumbs up. Yeah, if you want to come into the studio and say something, feel free to do so. I have 10 more minutes or 8 more minutes left. We need to stop this. We need to stop this. It is not acceptable. Marriage shouldn't be what will now send somebody to the great beyond overnight. Eh, TBT and CC are saying these are the main reason that I would not consider America as a place to relocate to. No way. So it's because of the iron thing, right? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Miss D said people will still talk regardless of what you do especially Africans. 
It's sad that some people are scared of this talking. Just do what gives you peace of mind. Yeah. Of course, they are having issues, Dr. Abby. Definitely. Yeah, I said that when I started. There is no way they were not having issues. They said they were arguing. It was in the middle of an argument. And I don't think that's the first argument. I think they've been having, you know, they've been having argument before now. Definitely. Yeah. This is said, uh, it's quite unfortunate that all these sad stories still don't educate victims on DV to live and stay alive. Yeah. We are ed educating them here. This is, you see the way they troll us now. We are doing education, though. But you see the way they troll us. So, like somebody says, double standards. We are doing education here, telling people about healthy, how to be healthy, to stay in healthy, to even identify unhealthy relationship and situation, and to protect themselves. That's all we do. We talk about all these issues so that people can learn how to protect themselves and identify what is healthy for them and unhealthy for them. But people still come here to throw shade. Isha said, people will still talk regardless. I just believe that as, a, as individuals, we should have a strong mind of our own. If you are not happy in any relationship, just leave and guard yourself. Absolutely. Yeah. They will talk. Oh. So if they didn't talk when you left the marriage or when you walked away, you got separated or whatever, they will talk when you buy. Now that, unfortunately, this young man has been on life. Now, I did I will not talk. Did we know him before? We didn't know him before. So it's like that. It's, it's always so sad when these things happen. But we ask ourselves, why repeatedly does it keep happening? Today we hear it happens. Tomorrow, you, you people are hearing other people's story. But they remain in those difficult situations. Our brother has a solution for us here, he said something that, you know, I think is just brilliant. If people will listen, but you know what it is? It's not easy. This is what our brother said. Listen very carefully. If you are not taking anything away from this show tonight, please take this away. What this our brother is saying, he say, if you are brave enough to say goodbye to an unhappy marriage, life will reward you with peace of mind. I might I add, if you are brave enough to say goodbye to an unhealthy, violent marriage, life will reward you with long life. Hmm. The covenant of life is stronger than the covenant of marriage, my people. Hey, Joe, this is just, it's bad, it's sad. Ritology, hello, darling, welcome. <laughs> Hello, Sister B. Good evening. Thank you so much for what you are doing. Thank you, Des my love. <laughs> Despite your <clears throat> the way you speak and everything, you still come to the show. <laughs> <laughs> and then your beautiful journey to, to Texas and all. I'm so glad to see you so shining and all. Okay. Thank so, you. <laughs> so uh, Sister B, I just want to say this real quick. According to what I'm saying, what I'm hearing from you, I joined late. So yeah. to what just happened, it's a pity that as young as they are, they are going through this kind of situation. So my yeah. point is, you ask the question, how can we stop this? Yeah. My point is, we need to check the home because everything starts from her home, from how our parents teach us, how our parents build our self-esteem, how our parents let us realize that this life, this life we have right now, it's so beautiful. It's so lovely. Even yeah. if things are not okay, they should always teach us the beauty part about life. So my own point of view regarding to this is the parents, we parents, I'm a mom of a beautiful daughter, okay? And also I come from a home that is a little bit violent. Okay, my father, yeah. when he was alive and everything, things were not so good. I, I came from that home. So yeah. that one, you, you know, that kind of experience when I was young, I see it's still affecting me now that I'm old. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so what I'm trying to say here is we should learn, we parents should learn to teach our children love. If there is any, just like you always say, I always learn a lot from your show. Even if I'm not live to watch mm. your show, 
I check the replay. And those that are calling in, the callers as well that are calling in, I really learn from them. So if the if everything, if the, the, the marriage is not good at all, we should stop. We Africans, most especially, most especially the women, we African women should leave as quickly as possible. So what I'm saying is this should be <clears throat> We parents should try to make sure not to be staying in the marriage or because of our children or mm. because of what people will say, all because of how will I feel when I'm when I when when I leave my home, how will yeah. people see me? And most especially, how will people see me? You know yeah. what? The first thing we need to understand is in as much as we stop thinking about what will people say. Yeah. I believe our personal life would be a lot better. Yeah. What we even if we are going through a lot, and then we decide that I don't care what people will say about me. All I care about is I look for my happiness and my joy in me and the peace of mind. If we a are able to look care, a lot of our people, a lot of black people, especially Africans, will care too much about what people say. How do you exactly. develop yourself to that point where you don't care anymore? Exactly. Exactly. This is why we parents, we parents, we need to teach our children, both uh, boys and girls, we need to teach our children how to love themselves first. Because this problem we are going through that is passing through right now is still also part of self-esteem and to be. It's yeah. part of self-esteem. If yeah. we do not have that strong self-esteem, we will mm -hmm. not be able to overcome this. Yeah. So if our parents don't have self-esteem, they will not be able to leave that violent, uh, that, that DV marriage. So mm -hmm. we also need to teach our children. Right now, sometimes what happened to me when I was young, when I was a little, through my family, I still have that stigma in me, that DV life with my mom and my dad. It's mm -hmm. affected me now. And mm -hmm. whenever it happens to me, I realize, I say, oh God, how will I do this? Because I have a daughter now. She will be watching what mm -hmm. I'm doing to her, to mm -hmm. her father. I always mm -hmm. pray to God, God, please always control my emotions. Always mm -hmm. control how I behave in front of my daughter. Always control how I teach her. You know how I talk to our, our, our father? I yeah. used to control to take the good part of me. I always pray to God about it. So most of the time, that does not mean that I'm having a, a DV partner. No. But I'm talking about my personal experience. And mm -hmm. what happens here, what you said about this couple, I believe it's not the first time, not the second, not the third. This has been going on and on and on and on. So it's reached to the extent that the lady couldn't take it anymore and then this happened so what i'm trying to say here so is, is the lady is the lady that on life the man exactly not the and other then, way around exactly oh sorry because you oh, know i didn't start this from the beginning so just like you said exactly so the lady mm. realized that they've been having this issue so much and so much i, I believe it's also causing the mental health as well so if someone that is okay mentally we not be able to end up someone, uh, 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 her partner. We not be able to unlive a partner. Sister B, look at it that way. Someone that is okay, will that person do something like that? Why did she not leave? Exactly. That is another thing. But mm. the problem will be the self-esteem as well. The self-esteem of what will people say? I don't have that strong self-esteem. How will people look at me outside? How will people talk to me or something like that? When I was young, I used to think that, oh, marriage is the best thing ever. Sister B, when I arrive, when I'm old now, and hearing your, your show and everything, my mindset changed. My hmm. mindset changed the way I think towards marriage. Now I realize that, no, 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 no. Marriage is not an achievement. Marriage is just a plus in women's mm -hmm. life. Marriage mm -hmm. even is it, 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 it's something good for the men, okay? Because we are the queen, we women are the queen. We are the ones that, that give the men the possibility for the world to see them in a good way. So yeah, you, you we, know that there are also women that are Mongo Park, like this woman. Of course, of course, of, mm. of course, Mr. B, of course, Mr. B. I'm not yeah. talking about those women. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about the other women. Women like, like you understand me now, not, not those kind of women. 
So, but what I'm trying to say here is for something like this to come to an extent, mm. we should, we parents should try to teach our children a better way. If something is, if something is going on like this, the best is just leave. Just like you said, Sister B, the best okay. is to leave. Because mm. sometimes therapy, if we, if we work, if we know still work, mm -hmm. Sister B, Mm -hmm. If you work, if you know if you work, because it depends on that person to accept what is going on or mm -hmm. what is not going on. Because mm -hmm. it all depends on us. Everything is in our hands. And finally, what I want to say is, let us let us pray for the grace of God. The grace mm -hmm. of the grace of God. Hey, a powerful thing. You know, if mm -hmm. we really understand what God really is in our life, if we are uh, spiritually attached to God, if we speak to the Holy Spirit all the time, the mm -hmm. grace of God we surely see us through. We make us to build our self-esteem, to, to, to always stop, about, stop thinking about what people will say if I mm -hmm. make this right decision for my life. So that is all I have to say, Sister B. Thank, thank, thank you so much, much. Sarita. Thank yeah, you. I appreciate thank you, darling. You. God bless thank you. you. Very, thank you. Bye. All right. So before, um, give us a thumbs up, guys, if you are just joining. Um, sorry about my voice. If you are just joining us, uh, subscribe if you haven't. We are talking about this very sad story today of this young Nigerian man. His name is Michael Chidoze, who his wife on life, the wife buyed him in the U.S. They have two young kids, three years old and uh, two years old. They said they had an argument. She carry iron. You know that American iron, whether they use, they say they delete people all the time. And she went after him. And three, four good times she went. She first time she 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 used the iron. Second time, third time, four times. So they took him to the hospital. Of course, he didn't survive it. One thing I wanted to say before I end the show, I'm coming to you. Uh, is it boss boss babe? I'll add you in a minute, please. Is that you know uh, where when I think they still do it in some culture. Even people are very good at doing that thing. I think it's one of the beauty. Like I always talk about culture. When I talk about culture here, I say in our culture all across Africa, please let's retain what is good about the culture. There are some beautiful aspects of our culture. And one of the very beautiful aspects of Igbo culture that I like is the culture of checking the family of the person you want to marry. In Igbo land, they will go to the family. They will send delegation to go there. To go and... They will, it's not only the family. They will, they will ask around what is happening in this family. Is there a history of mental illness? Has anybody what how is the mother of the of the girl that you want to marry? How is the mother of the boy? How is the father? Is, is there polygamy? How is the father beating the mother? You know, they ask questions. I think we need to carry on that because there are some things here, yeah, just like Rita said, that is generational, except that circle is is broken. Due diligence, Jay. God bless you. Giving me the English for it. Do your due diligence. Check the family because until some things, especially women, women inherit a lot of things from their mothers. Yes. And those things that they inherit based on what they observe growing up and some things are also biological as well. Some of these girls, the kind of families that they come from. So a bro if you're a brother watching this, when you want to marry, and you've investigated what you need to ask yourself do i want my children to come from this family because remember some of these things are genetic as well so the children will take the genetics of both their parents so you should be asking your, your yourself hey, do i want my children to have the dna or to have the genetics of this family I think it's very, very important too because if due diligence is done there, eh, some people will not marry the people they are married to. Honestly, especially in this abroad. You will not marry because when you see their generation, their family, you see the, you see what is going on there. You will say, ah, no, uh -uh. I love you, but uh, this one no go work. I think that's a very beautiful aspect of culture that we should take on and carry on to the, to, to, I mean, for time immemorial. Okay, boss babe, welcome. Auntie B, good evening, ma. Hello, darling. Where are you joining us from? I'm joining from London. Okay, welcome. What do you have to say? So just um, going on the point of, you know, what the lady just said, the previous lady, I, I cannot 
reentrate further how much self-love, self-awareness is so important for both genders, but most especially for a woman, just because as women, we carry hormones, right? Yeah. And we have all these many emotions that is going through our body. So we're so emotional at every, you know, every little thing can be a trigger depending on the time of the month, right? Now, for someone that has just finished her second bout of therapy, yeah, I encountered an issue recently where somebody I was dating, you know, I showed up at his house unexpectedly and, you know, he told me he was busy, you know, he was running errands for his mom, but he had somebody in the house. And I showed up unexpectedly because I felt a certain way. And there was a woman in the house. Now, the old me would react so, you know, <laughs> God knows something would have happened. But thank God, I, I became self-aware of myself and my triggers. And when I got there, I saw what I saw. And to be, I did not knock. I just took pictures and I left. Right? Uh -huh. This is because uh -huh. I've started the work on myself. Uh -huh. And I know that there are some things that are worth my energy and there are some things that are not. And uh -huh. I'm not going to allow you take me back to my past or take me low. Uh -huh. Right. Why did and you so, visit him unannounced? Auntie B, you know the female instincts, right? Yeah. It does something to you. And right. this is another thing I, I say to women, right? Whenever your gut starts telling you something, mm -hmm. don't ignore it. Yeah. God, God, God gave us instincts and gut feeling for a reason. Because us women, because we use emotions to think too much, we're not logical when it comes to relationship. Yeah. So he gave you your instincts for you to feel when something is off right it's up to you to act on it or not right but god would tell you your body would tell you and so my body told me mm -hmm. because i couldn't eat all day right and so i just kept saying something is going on something is going on and nobody believed me but i just said you know what i'm going there and i went there and i saw everything and and to me i'm telling you i did not I only when I got to my house, that's when I messaged him. Right? Now the old me, I, I would be like, eh, but no, there's nobody that would that's so I'm assuming that me. you caught him red uh, uh, caught him with someone else. Of course, Auntie B, yeah. Okay. So you right? didn't react. You saying because of therapy, you were able to walk away, you collected your evidence and you bounced. I bounced, Auntie B. Okay. okay. Like okay. I, I just like I said, I just finished a second session um, batch of therapy you know my, my therapist told me how to deal with worries when i'm triggered and things like that and since i started equipping that and to be <laughs> trust me my energy is towards things that will benefit me hmm. yeah. right things yeah. that will benefit me and don't forget what stress does to a woman's body your reproductive system alone will be affected just by you know being thrown off by these stresses that, you know, some men put their women. But anyway, mm. I'm going to end the call here, but I just wanted to leave a quote that um, one of my, you know, the self-love course I've been doing now, she said something. She said, if you don't do the self-work, you're either going to become one of your parents or you're going to attract one of your parents. Absolutely. That's completely right. You if know, you don't as, do the work on yourself, you become one of your parents or, or you attract, attract one of your parents. Period. Yes. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you, my darling. I thoroughly enjoyed your call. God bless Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye, darling. Okay, so <coughs> some people are saying, please give us a thumbs up, guys. I'm not feeling too well. You can hear. But I really wanted to cover this today because some people have started accusing me of uh, partiality already that I don't cover it when it happens to men. That's not true. Uh, so some people are disagreeing with this idea of doing checks. This is the Olu is the second person that is saying I disagree. Inquiring about your family, you're marrying into is amable. Love is blind. Hey hey hey! I laugh in 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 Spanish. You know, I just came back from America. They speak a lot of Spanish in uh, in, in Texas. Let me be laughing in Spanish. Love. The guy. When if you say love is blind, when you enter marriage, eh? You go know whether you love that person or not. You go know. I am telling you that there was a point in time when uh, Kiara and 
the late uh, Michael, God rest his soul, were absolutely, absolutely head over heels in love. Love will buy me, I die. But not be the same love they love born two children now. Where Kiara go carry iron, take, 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 finish, they take cut young, young 26 year old boy cut in life shots. Which love? Love, love waiting. <laughs> I hope people are not being deceived by this love, love is blind show they are doing on TV or Netflix. So, eh, uh -huh. most of them, you know, what do I know? That boy, love is blind. By the time you know, say love, no blind. Now that time you go enter marriage. Now you come open your eye, wake up one day. They say, hey, what is this? If love is blind and you marry because you don't want to inquire about the family you are marrying into, marriage will open your eyes and your eyes go open there. Eh? In fact, the lady that was listening to today, she's an African American elderly lady, said, Do a background check. This one, I'll be saying, Go visit again. He said, Run a do criminal record check, DBS. <laughs> In this love of today, today, this day and age, love, love will call. Abby, hello, darling. Welcome. Oh, good evening, Nancy B. You're welcome back. Thank you, my love. <laughs> yeah, um, I think I was, um, I was, I, I was drawn into um, the last um, callers and um, talking about, you know, being intentional about where you put your energy and. Yeah. I think that was what triggered my call in. Um, I keep saying in one day I will share my story because I'm all about women empowerment. And yeah, we we, we all go through things in life that would humble us in, in a way. Some of us will go into a marriage hoping that it would be like a lifetime, you know, thing, you know, you're very passionate at the beginning. And then, you know, marriage will open your eyes. I mean, in yeah. my it wasn't. It wasn't the most positive experience, but I was, the moment I realized I was going to get out of the marriage, I think I was visiting Nigeria with my, well, nearly ex-husband now. And um, there was, a, I, I don't remember what happened. The next thing I remember was him lunging at me and we were in his parents' house and it was like, nothing happened. Everyone was just minding their business. Was he, was he doing that before, prior to the visit oh, to yeah, Nigeria? Or was oh, it because you are in Nigeria? Yes. Oh, yeah. I think it was more um, prominent in Nigeria because it felt like, oh, you know, what's going to happen? And I think realizing how, you know, his parents just basically ignored it made me realize that, obviously, that's the way he's been brought up and there's no accountability in that sense. It took his brother-in-law to hold him back. I mean, I, I had my little boy on my laps, feeding my yeah. child at this yeah. time. So it was quite graphic. I think that was one of the moments where I realized that I was gonna leave, obviously. And yeah. what I did is what I'm about to talk about. I'm not gonna go into too much details, but I mean, I always ran my own business. I was predominantly a stay at home mom. And, you know, I started putting money aside and um, gradually, um, you know, built myself up to the point where I felt like, okay, I think I got this now. Um, found a job at some point. Uh, this was last year, and obviously things became worse because once they lose control, that that's you know kind of like a big thing. Um, I got a bit financially independent, and to God be the glory, I left uh, nearly two weeks ago um, oh. into my own accommodation and wow. and all of that. So I think okay. my, my message, thank you. My message is, you know, be intentional. You'll be angry, you'll be frustrated, mm -hmm. but you need to divert, you need to convert that energy into yeah. something that will move you forward, something yeah. that will benefit you, something that would, you know, benefit your children, you know, ultimately. And yeah. You, you know, the thing that used to worry me is that how do people know that when you put your hand on somebody in this part of the world that the police can come and arrest you and they still do it regardless. This is me. Somebody My told me <laughs> about how her ex-husband, who yeah. is supposed to be a medic, a doctor, oh. doctor, he will, he no, will say that, his license and he, he, will say, he will say that he's teaching her a lesson. He will oh, use the yeah. Rap, okay? Yeah, yeah. I think Bowie. my dad, so, my dad so, used to say, <clears throat> Where where any which means you know 
that anger can blind people to do things that you know they lose sight of everything they're not thinking about the future they just you know just being led by emotions which is not the good emotion you know yeah so really kill well, people. Uni said something i wanted to I, i've been trying to let me quickly address this uni before i get i get lost uh with the comments uni said people don't choose the families that they are born into and how can we break the circle if we are you are constantly judged by your extended family and that's your own character and achievement so um for this, yes, you have a point, Uni. Uh, you don't choose the family you are born into. Yeah. Like I was I'm making jokes with my children the other day when uh, my youngest child was complaining that his room is too small. Why can't he have a bigger room? I say, well, you are the last. So next time you come into this world, choose to come first. <laughs> you can't take a bigger room than your, your, your senior. You know, it's similar to, I mean, not similar, but that's just a joke. Mm -hmm. Um, When it comes to the issue of... Uh, the family that you are born into you can't choose but mm -hmm. you can choose how you how you decide to rule also but however there are some things that you know until you do the work you mm. cannot break free of them Very cool. mm. so that's where the argument about nurture or nature comes in you mm. i don't know if you are listening to me mm. nurture and nature so what the behavior that adults exhibit is it because of nature or nurture? And I think scientifically it's been proven that both of them does affect people when they grow up. So mm -hmm. the family, you can you, you might run away from your family. Yeah. You can run away from your family because, you know, you, you think, oh, the way it, my father, uh, my mother treated my mother. I don't, as a woman, you can say, I don't like the way my mother treated my father. I love my father so much, but I don't like the way my mother behaved. And you decide that, okay, I don't want to be like my mother. I'm going to be a better person. I don't want to treat my husband like that. However, if you don't do the work on yourself, both on a spiritual level and on an emotional level, my dear, you will be shocked that you will turn out to be behaving like your mother. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm making sense to you. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. So it's not about you choose. It's not about you. You just saying, okay, uh, I, I don't want to behave like that. You have to do the work. You must do the work. And you will do it on an emotional level. And you also do it on a spiritual level because life is spiritual. So you can run away, but you find yourself. That's why you see the last caller was saying that if you don't do the work, you either end up becoming like your parents that your mongo pack parent whether it's a mother or father or you end up marrying a mongo pack like that so that's why you see a lot of people saying I i'm attracting people like my one of my parents that is that is a mongo pack why am i attracted because this is that's the energy that you carry you must do the work don't just say, oh, uh, let me be careful because human behavior is so complex that it's not something that you can say, oh, I learned this way. I'm going to operate this way. I will control myself. You cannot always be on the watch out for your behavior because remember, these people, they, you grew up with them. You grew up with these two parents. So if your mother is a Mongo Park, she's, she's put the Mongo Park behavior in you. Whether you are conscious or unconscious of it, it will come out. It will come out at some point. So that's why you need to get, you need to do the work on yourself. And I'm talking about it. And I'm saying that this work that we are talking about on, on an emotional level, yes, you can do therapy. You can read books, attend conferences, do all that good stuff. But you also need to pray to break because sometimes it can be generational. You'll find out that, you have you seen some families like that? It happened to the grandmother. It happened to the great grandmother. It happened to your mother, and you think you're going to escape it without doing the work? Lori, you know, you have to. So that's the point I was trying to make, Uni, about you know, doing that reality that that check to be sure that this is the family you want to align yourself with. Uh, I think Brother Ben jumped in at some point where we're talking, and he said something about culture. Be sure that the culture that you are marrying into aligns with the culture. When I'm talking about culture, I'm not talking about tribe. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about outlook in life. What is important to a certain group of people? 
He said something about marrying to the culture that aligns with your own culture. Because these are where all the small, small problems will come in. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? You believe that on Sunday we should go to church. And somebody has believed that Sunday is uh, Sunday morning is, is, uh, is basketball. is where we're going to play, uh, do sports. When, when will the argument not start? Before you know. A battle will start. Superiority is what I said. The, the children will be there watching. So we are a product of both our parents biologically and also, you know, in other ways, whether you like spiritually, whether you like it or not, you have a bit of your parents in you. Whether they are Mongo Park or not, they have your, they are in you. You can't escape it, except you do the work. Am I making sense? Mm -hmm. Bukola said, I used to have, true, I used to have anger issues before, before my dad became born again and a pastor. He showed my mother Shege, constant beating. In 20, in 200 level, I fasted and prayed to remove the spirit of anger. And it happened. Yeah. Because, because as you are growing up, that anger, you are learning it. Children learn by observation. It's not, that's why sometimes they say, it's not what you are telling the children, no. Ah, you, these children, you are smoking. Don't smoke. Meanwhile, every day you hold cigar, fu, 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 you are smoking. <laughs> it's what they see. They will do it. Whether they, they hide it or not. I know children can hide. Ah, ah. So, we need to do the work. I, I, strong, I, I mean, kudos to all, the, all those people who believe in endless love that uh, we don't need to check. Love is blind. My own love is not blind, though. <laughs> Abby, well done. You should <laughs> absolutely not stay with a husband that is beating you. Good luck. Mm -hmm. And I'm very happy for you that you had the courage to be able to step away from that situation. Thank you, yeah, to be. Thank you so yeah. much. And thank you yeah. for what you do. We really, yeah. really appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. Enjoy the rest of your evening. You too, darling. <laughs> Bye -bye. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gravita said, your children will also be a part of your bloodline. Remember that. Choose who you marry carefully. Brothers, I'm telling you this categorically. If you want to marry, check your wife's mother. Go and check them. Check your wife. Observe your wife's mother. Observe if they still have a father. Check the way he treats. She treats her husband because she's the one that raised your your wife -o, or the your intended wife. -o. She's the one that raised. You can say, ah, no, she's different. She was born in England. She was born in America. She eh, eh, eh. check, check. Very very important. I'm giving you advice because we are looking at this 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 uh, Kiara where eyes no show one single emotion now, and I'm thinking, how much did Michael know about her line, her family, and all those things? For a woman to wake up one day, we can't you can't make excuses for somebody on life and another person. There's no excuse for it. There's zero tolerance to it. We always establish that on this platform. Zero tolerance to DV. And on life is somebody, no excuse. You go carry iron. You go, you, you go meet the person, shoot her once, two, three, four, four times, kilo day. There's something there. I don't know what it is, but there's something there. So it is, and to me is right. I worked on myself. Thankfully, I'm a very positive person. I swore to build a, a happy home. God has helped me. Well done, my dear. Well done. And it, we will continue to help you. Because even being on this platform, you are still learning and learning. Yeah. Uh, Gloria said, personal values to align spiritual, physical, emotional, social, mental, financial, to a large extent, your life should align. Love is just not, never enough. Never enough. Bra uh, Braben, thank you, Jari. I was quoting you earlier on what you said. You said, and to be louder, oh, check the mama, oh. <laughs> Braben, you know they feel help yourself. You must be funny, sha. Check on Medi and you tell lady. Hey, check on Medi, <laughs> He said, check the mama, oh. Women have tendency to take after their mother. If the if the mom is Agberu and daughter is gentle, bro, run. <laughs> yes. There are some women that they've raised some daughters that <laughs> it will take the grace of God. It will take the grace of God and doing the work on, on those, those daughters, doing the work on themselves for them to be able to stay, even with a man that is healthy. Treat them well. That's why you will hear 
a woman will just wake up one day and say, he's too nice. Etik Bori, no, I never heard that before. He will wake up one day and say, I'm not married again, he's too nice. Somebody will go and divorce because he's too nice. Go show you last song. It's not a, uh, it's not a, uh, it's, it's, it's in the bloodlines, in the family. My mother used to say one thing that some people, their blood do, do not align. I used to just look at her and say, Mama, you shake her. She, she doctor the yini. He will say, no, their blood do not align. These people have no business being together. So if you have a, 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 mod, a, mod, a mother-in-law that is good, you know the way she treats her husband is good. She's loving, kind. She's kind. She's respectful. Be sure that her daughter is going to be better. Look at the way your mother-in-law. Look at your father-in-law. It's very, very good. I know there's no perfection. Nobody's saying that uh, we should look for perfect people. And there are also exceptions to the rule. So sometimes good people can also raise people that, you know, so it's not a hundred percent that okay because this person is like that means that yeah, but to a large extent we are talking on you know on a general basis. Mm -hmm. Well, mommy, you are here today, my brother. How are you? Well, mommy says it's being marriage is a piece of wrapped gift that no one knows what it contains till you unwrap till you open it. Mm -hmm. Some people say is a is a love is blind though. Love still blind for this social media era. I mean, I don't know. Mm. Isha said yes, Auntie B. There's a footballer in Brazil that the mother is divorcing him because she said that he's too nice and perfect. Hey, God will bless you. I thought I was the only one that saw it. The footballer, footballer that even have money, oh, the guy is also good looking. He's tall, very handsome, with plenty of money. The wife just wake up, say, "You are too nice. You are too nice." <laughs> Check both parents. The reason why I'm, I'm emphasizing on checking mothers is because we women groom our daughters to a large extent. Yeah, yeah, definitely check both parents, but. For daughters, is the mother. My emphasis is on mothers because we are talking about a Mongopa woman here today. So that's why I'm placing emphasis, Dr. Abi. I'm placing emphasis on women, mothers. Because this is a Mongopa woman. Definitely, she's a Mongopa. If you go and check her mother, I can tell you, you will find out that 99 or 9% is a Mongopa too. Mongopa, the born Mongopa. That's why we need to check all these people that we were talking the other day. Are people that say, I say because of my children, you want to have more children for Mongo Park. It's little Mongo Park babies you are you are giving birth to. Mongo Park waiting to happen to somebody's child in the future. May God have mercy on us. So I, I mean, it's just so sad. It's really, really sad. Yes, when 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 children grow up in that state of Chaos, yeah. She yourself, she grew up in chaos, and being nice is foreign to her. Yeah, some people they are reality, and uh, somebody said it when we started the show that you know we've normalized chaos and toxic toxicity in, uh, in in black people. We normalize it. I think it's Cynthia. Cici said it. Black people will normalize it. It's a new normal for us. We normalize it. We normalize it too. Be being be say no, you raise your children, but you cannot give your heart to them. Uh you give your heart, your soul, your character, your values, everything is what you give to your children. Who told you you cannot give them your heart? You give them everything, they inherit everything from you, both father and mother. If if you are a Mongo Park, you are definitely raising a Mongo. Where, where do you think all this? All these uh, 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 mon this young Mongo packs that we have, uh, these they are, all these people that will be in America and they are still beating their wife. Where do you think they learned it, learned it from? They learned it from, from, from home now. They learned it from home. It's from watching what their own father did. And when you have female Mongo Park, it's the same thing. They learned it from their mother. Yeah, that's just it. 
Dr. Abby said, love is not blind. It's people who choose to ignore the red flags. Absolutely. I like what Jay said. Jay said, I'm fight, fighting this toxicity. I never know how to pronounce this word. Toxicity. In my family, and I've been seen as a weird one. Yes. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see what I wrote when I posted Dr. Shola's picture. I said that uh, revolutionary leaders are always ahead of their time. So see yourself, Jay, as somebody that is bringing some much needed revolution uh, into your family. So though it's not always change. It's not what people like because it's different. They are not going to embrace it now, but later they will see what you are doing. So as long as you know you are doing the right thing and trying to bring some kind of sanity into your family, continue. Yes, you can see people owning up. I like the fact that we are accountable. Oh, we are accountable on this platform. God will bless all of you. Nick has said, I inherited my dad's character, but I worked on myself. Wow. Wow. Can you see that? So... You that is saying where you cannot put your heart into your child, ha, you'll be shocked. It is what you raise children with that they become. If you raise your children to be affectionate, to be loving, they will be. If you raise your children to be hardened and you never show them any emotions, you are always screaming at them. They always witness you and their their the parents fighting, throwing things at each other, breaking things in the house. That's what they will be. Children are like an empty, you know, an empty cup. They are like that. They don't come with anything. It is the world around them and the parents and the environment where they grow up that fills them up with everything they have. Children don't come with anything. That's why you see babies. When you see babies uh, that are one, between one and two, or maybe less, they don't know anything. They don't know about race. They don't know about color. They don't. They just play with everybody. They don't have any miss. Everybody is their friend. They will laugh and hug everybody. But when they start to grow to an age, you see their parents begin to fill them up. Don't go to that person's house. Don't eat their food. Oh, we don't like this skin color of people. It is the environment. It's society. Parents. The family that turn children to what they are. That's just it. That's it. They are like sponge. Thank you, Sissy. Their children are like sponge. They will soak up everything around them. You know what sponge is? It will be soaking it up. So when you see children that are withdrawn, when you see children that lack emotion like this uh, Mongo Park and Tina that is looking like somebody that is lost in trance, go and check her home. Check where she comes from. Check how she was brought up. Then your, your answers will be around there. And that's why if you ever go to therapy, they always start from unpicking your, your childhood. They will start... That's why men don't like therapy. Some men don't like therapy because they start from your childhood. They start asking you deep questions about your dad, your mom, how you grew up and everything because they want to know foundation. The Bible says that if the foundation is destroyed, what can the righteous do? Foundation is everything. And the home is the foundation of every child. Who becomes an adult? It is their home. That's just it. Brabel said, a female colleague of mine has, uh, what was that? They say, the day I say, was the day I was, uh, I defriend her. She has what? I don't know what to be that too. She said, whatever, whatever she said, my response is yes, ma. Undo is far. I don't know what you mean, no. I don't hear that your English, but I bet no. She has what? She has P.O. What's P.O.P.O.? -P -O? I don't know what it be P.O.P.O. -P -O. The meeting said, my second uh, inherited my sharp mouth. That's your child, right? Egba <laughs> Mio. She inherited your whispering as well. He said, he does hit uh it does it the critical way in the same vein he's quite responsive to correction yeah yeah sometimes you look at your children it's scary sometimes even when you want to tell them of you start to see that this is a reflection of your behavior honestly there's this one child that will just be your behavior sha. you two you you will be judging yourself me ah oh my you jobby ah bad me oh jobby oh jobby oh jobby yeah so let us do better. 
let us do better. So we're going to end the show here now. Thank you, everybody. If you are just joining us, please give us a thumbs up. We are talking about a female. Oh, Pio Pio is a oh, okay. See, uh, CC, thank you. Oh, Brabe was saying that a colleague has a iron. Now, iron with the color here, but I don't know what to be Pio Pio. Okay, the colleague has <laughs> iron. Brabe is oh, no, it's fine. No, I mean, that. we know, I mean, there are few. Hello, <laughs> DJ. I'm mean, not going to know it's fine. Oh. Uh, you know it's very far. Oh. I know Sabi with American slang, so I don't stay long enough to learn them. I've not, I've never stayed more than two weeks in America. Every time I go, it's always about two weeks I stay. Thank you, everybody. Please uh, let us do better. If you know better, you do better. If you are watching this and you are still in a similar situation like this, whether you are a man or a woman. Don't put yourself at risk. Hey, Jotori, alone. I'm begging you. We are tired of these stories. Ah, Femo, do not put yourself at risk. Listen to what this our brother Jonathan said. If you are brave enough to say goodbye to a very dysfunctional, toxic, unhappy, unhealthy marriage, life will reward you with peace of mind and long life. Our condolence to... Michael Chidozi and the family that he's left behind. May the Lord heal all the broken hearts or all the people that are involved in this and help us to make the right decisions concerning our future and our everyday life. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. There's a show I want to do on Thursday, my people. Actually, if I feel better tomorrow, am I, am I doing it? Please watch, watch out for it. So there's this story that I want to do. It's very, very, very important. I talk about it because I was really triggered by that story. Somebody came to Dr. Shola and said that a man in America said that he married his wife 10 years. This woman refused to come to America. She's in the village in Nigeria because her pastor told her not to travel. The children are with him in America and he was asking for advice. The woman stayed in the village in Nigeria with because pastor told her not to travel. The husband is in America. The man said, I don't want to live my life like this. And then the second story again, that I, I'm matching both of them, is about uh, a woman that left her child in Nigeria, left her marriage to run away because they told her that if she stayed in the marriage, she would go back. So she abandoned the, the child. The child is grown up now looking for her. Came to Dr. Shola. My people, we need to talk about this. The kind of havoc that some of these people that I don't believe that they are past, real pastors, I don't believe that they are real men of God. Thank you, man of prestige. Thank you for that super chat. I appreciate that. God bless you. The kind of, the kind of, the way they are tearing families apart. The women and their pastors. Women and their pastors. Okay. We'll talk about it. If I feel much better, I'll do it tomorrow. Otherwise, Thursday. Thank you so much. Yeah, Tebiti, I should take uh, Okay. I will go and look for it. All those medicine. Uh, flu does not even have medicine. I don't know. Yeah, we're going to talk about it. We want to talk about women and their pastors. Because in this case, it's two women. One left abandoned her child and her husband, ran away. Even now, she does not want to have anything to do with the child. The, the girl is grown up now, looking for her mother. Then the other one, refused to go to America. Etigwarueri, sat in Nigeria and said she does not want to go to America because the pastor told her to stay and not follow her husband to America. Ah! No, we need to talk about it. And she, thank you very much, everybody. Yes, I'll see you guys tomorrow or Thursday. I'll set it up and we'll see it. Man of Prestige, thank you so much. Let me go and rest now. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Have a good day. God bless you. Please like, subscribe. Ola, I saw your comment too, on the one of uh, the one they said. The woman said that uh, the pastor said they will they will they will buy her. She should not have anything to do with the. He said should, they, they said she don't have anything to do with the, the her husband and his seed. Which is her own daughter. Sherai. 
it is well. We'll talk about it. Ashe, thank you very much. God bless you guys. See you soon.